Hi, in this video we're going to draw an accurate graph of y is equal to 2x squared minus 2x minus 3 for x being between minus 2 and 3. This is called a quadratic function and we are not going to use any uh, technology. So the main method to use if we've got no technology is to make a table. So we make a table, so we'll ask to draw it from minus 2 to 3. So along here we put x, the x values, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now we've only put in integer values here. Now sometimes we need uh, an extra column, but not always. But I'll show you what this is needed for later on. So in this cell here, we have to work out 2 times minus 2 squared. So that's going to be... 2 times minus 2 squared. Now minus 2 squared, notice I've put the minus 2 in brackets, minus 2 squared is 4, so we've got 2 times 4, and then 2 times 4 is 8, and therefore in this cell here we now put an 8. The same, we do the same with minus 1, and when we do that we're going to get 2, working out 2x squared, 0, and the one time, when it's 1 we're going to get 2, 2 times 2 squared, which is 8. 2 times 3 squared, 3 squared is 9 times 2, which is 18. Now, please stop the video here and check to make sure that you are sure how to get this uh, row here. Now, here this is slightly more easy. We just have to work out minus 2 times minus 2, which is plus 4. Minus 2 times minus 1, which is plus 2 minus 2 times 0 which is 0, minus 2 times 1 which is minus 2, minus 2 times 2 which is minus 4, and then minus 2 times 3 which is minus 6. Now to each of these values we will add minus 3 because this is the last part of it. So this row here will be whatever this number is here. Now some students find this very difficult to un understand so you, put, you just put in minus 3, because what, what we're going to do is we're going to do 8 plus 4 minus 3, and that will give me the y value. So that was minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. Now these three rows here are just for the working out. And all we need to do, provided we put the negative signs in the right place, is to add each column. So we do 8 plus 4 and minus 3, we get 9. 2 plus 2 and minus 3, we get 1. And then 0 plus 0 and minus 3, we get minus 3. 2 plus minus 2 minus 3 gives me minus 3. 8 minus 4 minus 3, we get minus 1. 18 minus 6 minus 3 is going to give me 9. And then what we will do, we will plot minus 2 against 9 on the graph. Minus 1 against 1. 0 against minus 3, 1 against minus 3, 2 against 1, and 3 against 9. So we'll plot those points on the graph. So now to go into my graph, so we we'll take some graph paper, and here is the table. we we'll draw some suitable axes. So I'm going to do the x-axis, have to go from minus 2 to 3, minus 2 to 3. And I'm going to need at least from 9, and I need to go from minus 3 to 9. So I don't have to have the same scale on this axis as this axis. The only thing is I have to be consistent with the scale along the axis. Remember to label your axis. And th remember, these are the points that we're now going to plot. So we're now going to plot minus 2, 9. Now we need to realise that two squares, two of these little squares on the y-axis represents 1. So plotting the points, minus 2, 9, so put a dot or a cross, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 3, 1, minus 3, 2, 1, and you need to be accurate with this, and 3, 9. Now the problem is if I join all these dots up, at the bottom here I'm just going to get a flat bit, and in fact what happens, the curve goes slightly lower, than these two points here. We can see we've got a flat bit here, so it's going to go slightly lower. So it's, sometimes it's useful to put in an extra point. And halfway between uh, x is 0 and 1 is 0 0.5. So we'll take an extra point 
at 0 0.5 and then we'll do 2 times 0 0.5 squared which gives me uh, 0 0.5 squared is a quarter, a quarter of 2 is 0 0.5 uh, minus 2 times 0 0.5 is minus 1 and again this last column will be minus uh, 3 so we'll do 0 0.5 minus 1 minus 3 gives me minus 3.5 and we will now plot that point on the curve so uh, at x is 0 0.5 we will go to uh, 3.5 so that's that point there and now we can see we, we can go uh, draw join the points up now the important thing is this needs to be a smooth curve it's not drawn with straight lines it needs to be done freehand now sometimes it's a good idea to uh, draw uh, turn the paper upside down and use try to draw a sort of an n shape okay so here we get the curve nice smooth curve drawn with a pencil and then at one end you need to label it y is equal to 2x squared minus 2x minus 3 so we have drawn an accurate graph of y is equal to 2x squared minus 2x minus 3. So this has been a video to show you how to draw an accurate graph of a quadratic function. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.